Hey, it's Darlie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making a really simple card, basically using some paper scraps and a stamp. So um, I've had this package from of papers from Pink Paisley, I mean, it's probably at least 10 years old, but I really love the color combinations and I thought that really pretty brown background with those um, floral or uh, images would be really pretty. It's a little, um, it's it's pretty, but it's also very subtle. So I thought it'd be really good for this dog sympathy card that I'm making. So I stamped it already and I did initially paint the flowers or color the flowers in yellow. I decided since I used this paper, I wanted it pink. So I just used my water brush and you saw me like, um, push the ink pad together so I get a little bit of ink on that lid and that's what I'm doing I'm just using the water brush picking up some ink and then putting it over the flowers I'm also going back in and darkening some of those leaves not all of them because I really just basically put like a white I was gonna say whitewash but like a color wash around the green area and then because the dog is stamped where it looks mostly white I've decided to use my alcohol marker which is like a tri-blend marker and I like to do that on like flesh tones or light colors like that because the alcohol markers blend so well so that is why I did that I just started with the lighter one covered it all the way over then used the medium or the little bit slightly darker marker and just highlighted in all of the like shadowed lines that are already there from the stamp and then I went back and used the darkest one pretty much did the exact same thing only um uh same areas but a little bit more around it to give it more of a shadow and then once I let that alcohol settle a little bit I went back with the light one and just kind of blended the whole thing so I think it turned out really really nice um so once I'm done with all that I'm going to put that aside and I'm basically just using, um, like I said, scrap papers from that scrapbooking kit or the paper package. Um, I was really funny because this scrap piece just happens to be four inches um, or five and a quarter inches tall. So all I had to do was cut it by four and then I adhered it to the card base. This is just your standard A2, which is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card base so I just put some adhesive on the back all four sides and place that down when I'm filming these I don't show you or I don't show you that I'm putting adhesive on the entire piece but I am so it just looked like I just put one strip but I actually went all the way around now I am following a sketch with this I'm going to put the link down below to sketch and scrap and that's where this card um, sketch is from I'll have the post excuse me the link to their website and also to my blog address where you can also get more information on the papers and the stamp set and the colors that I used. But like I said, I'm following the sketch. The sketch was super easy and um, I, you know, just putting it all together. So basically that's how it looks. Now I did decide to mat that green polka dot paper in some white cardstock as well because it kind of follows how the card looks like it's matte with, with white. And then... Um, this the stamp portion is all white and that's why I decided to just use a black marker and then just do like an edging around it I always like to do it at least twice and I just do it by hand I don't measure anything but that's also not my thing so if you felt like you needed a ruler and it needed to be straight you know go for it I just do mine with my hand so it's straight ish <laughs> and I actually like the way it looks when it's not so straight I think it gives it a little bit of something different too but again that's just my own personal opinion so once I do that like I said I matted the green and silver that's actually silver polka dots and sl and slipped that underneath the um or where where the um, stamped image would be so right here I'm just kind of eyeballing where I'm going to put it then I put then I do adhere that down before putting adhesive on the back of the stamped image and then just placing it right on top so also with the sketch there were three like some kind of something embellishments over on that top right hand corner so I have a whole bunch of Queen and Company um, enamel dots uh, 
rhinestones, things like that. And you'll see me in a, in a little bit. I'm going to bring it over. I have it all in this really large binder ring. And then I have them like in color order. So I went through that and found some that I liked and I thought would look perfectly for that card. I did stamp the, the sentiment inside, which you just saw me do. And I let that dry for a little bit before I selected what enamels I was going to use and put on the front of the card. <clears throat> I hope you like this video and if you do please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do post at least two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking and the second is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center and the command center is the name of my blog and also the name of my craft room. Now the other objects that I'm crafting could be card making which you see here i do a lot of junk journaling i do some mixed media i do paint i paint canvases i um do a lot of projects with my cricut which is probably my one of my favorite things to do but i do hope you decide to hit that subscribe button and i just want to thank you again for watching bye